Welcome back to It Was Never a Phase Cards, and today I kind of want to just talk to you guys about my one-year journey. Um, it's been a full year now since I started collecting again. I just kind of wanted to tell you guys about my experiences and what got me back, and just kind of kind of go over where I'm at. And so I started in March of last year, um, but to preface, I collected as a kid, um, mainly football cards and Pokemon when they came out. Um, I went to a very small um, Christian school, and the Pokemon cards ended up getting banned because of they were teaching evolution or whatever. Anyways, I don't know where my childhood cards went. I didn't have like Charizards and tons of cool stuff, but um, so pretty devastated, pretty ripped up, to be honest, um, that I couldn't find my old cards. I have one. One singular card from my old collection that I found. Um, but fast forward to 2023, last year, one of my coworkers um, randomly gave me a pack of cards, Pokemon cards. I hadn't opened, I honestly hadn't opened Pokemon cards since like 2000, 2001 maybe. And um, yeah, I just kind of want to start with that. And so. Funny enough, not that this is like that crazy of a card, but um, I pulled this Gengar card out of the first pack I opened. So, <laughs> needless to say, I was hooked. Um, started started collecting a lot, ripping a lot of packs, uh, buying some vintage stuff. But this Gengar card is the one that got me back. Um, so this one kind of means a lot to me. And then I also wanted to talk to you guys about now, this card probably doesn't mean much to you guys, um, but this was when I was at my peak of collecting as a kid in 2002. Um, I remember trading for this card with one of my buddies at school. I actually had to get permission um, from his mom because I was trading like a Donovan McNabb rookie for this because as a, as a diehard Niners fan, like I didn't care if I was trading down. I wanted Niners and that's all I cared about. Um, so I had this since then, uh, 2002, so I'm actually working on getting this whole set of these, uh, 2002. Anyways, um, but this is just a card that, like, meant a lot to me. I didn't really have any valuable cards as a kid, so this one kind of stood out. And I wanted to show you guys this card. Um, this isn't the most valuable Pokemon card either. Base set 2 Venusaur. But... What this, what this base set to Venusaur has is an interesting story. So let me tell you about this real quick. So that Venusaur, I, when I, after I pulled the Gengar and I, I started getting into eBay, buying cards, um, I, I didn't want to spend a ton. So I bought a Celebrations Venusaur, uh, cause it was like three bucks. Anyways, uh, guy sent me this the base set two on accident and he reached out and said he made a mistake asked for it back and i was going to ship it back to him and he said you know what let me just refund you and you can keep the card so i, I first off that never happens on ebay so i was shocked great experience um ended up getting it graded just to have it slabbed um so yeah getting getting a base set two for free super rad um and so now fast forward a whole year of collecting i started selling on ebay um i think total sales i'd have to double check this number but i think we're at like seven thousand dollars total sales and the reason i started on ebay was just to keep growing my collection i realized that i could flip a lot of cards i did a lot of grading and just a lot of flipping in general, um, sniping cards, getting, uh, you know, getting them for cheap and then just relisting them, uh, just kind of to grow my own collection. So that's kind of, kind of been why I sell on eBay and I've been, you know, just to grow my collection. I don't really know how far I want to take it, but as you guys can see over here, uh, I have a whole display case and then there's another one 
over here i got two display cases full of cards <laughs> um so it's kind of crazy how you can go from just ripping one pack to a year later you can have you know two full display cases um if you guys are interested i, I do a uh a full tour of the office here let me know if that's something you guys might be interested in um so currently as of now i am kind of taking a break from the niners <laughs> i went really hard leading up to the super bowl and i got kind of my heart got broken literally but also i kind of got a little soured on it just because of how I was expecting a win and anyways just also realizing that sports card values can be so drastic so I'm still doing sports cards I'm still grading and doing football basketball all that stuff but um, I'm just leaning a little bit more back into Pokemon and kind of into sealed product because it's a lot more stable Charizard can't tear his ACL or you know lose the Super Bowl so plus I love Pokemon so um, in the bottom of this case over here, I got a bunch of sealed product, booster boxes, tons of other stuff. So I'm trying to diversify. I'm not sure if I'm going to hold like long term or what the play is. Part of me wants to try and open a local uh, card store. Um, it's very expensive. I would love to get in with a distributor, as everyone would, but you know, having to have brick and mortar. So I don't really know what my future plan is but i'm trying to set myself up for um just diversifying a little bit so i got tons of sports cards um i got i gotta get back on the grading um i got a lot of cards that i'm ready to grade but just haven't done any submissions in a while so um yeah i just wanted to share with you guys my one year sports card journey i learned a lot and hopefully um Got a new setup here with lights and webcam and all that stuff. So hopefully I can make some more uh, videos like this in the future. Kind of talking about mm, more details of like some of the mistakes I made along the way. Because, of course, I made mistakes. While I've made money and grew my collection, I did some dumb stuff. So uh, hopefully we can, I can share with you guys if you guys enjoy that. And we can learn uh, together. And I think that's going to do it for this one. Um... Yeah, let me know in the comments if you guys are interested in seeing more of the setup or more of my collection. I'm um, hoping to do some live stream stuff too, so we'll kind of see how it goes. But yeah, I think that's going to do it for this one. And just remember, it was never a phase. It was never a phase. <laughs>